Hi everyone. In this session, today we are going to see about types of faults in power system. What is meant by fault? Any event which is going to disturb the balance condition of the system will be called as a fault. To understand this statement, first we should know what is meant by a balanced system. Then only the statement will be very clear to you. So the next we are going to see what is meant by a balanced system. Along with this, one more important point also we should know. What is meant by symmetrical system? These two terms plays a very important role in the analysis of the power system. Balanced system versus symmetrical system. Three phase balanced system. The three phasers R Y B, either it is in terms of the voltages or the currents, are said to be balanced if their voltages as well as the phase differences are equal with respect to the each other. For example, let us consider star connected three phase system. The voltage phases, all the three phase voltage phases if you see Vr, Vy, Vb, these are equal in magnitude and are displaced from each other by 120 degrees with each other. In this, the angle between the Vr and Vy is 120 degrees. Similarly, the Vy and Vb, this also 120 degrees. And between the Vr and the Vb, this phase difference also 120 degrees. If you look at this phasor diagram, the magnitude of the Vr is equal to the magnitude of the Vy that is equal to the magnitude of the Vb. And the phase angle between the phase angle between the Vr and Vy Vb all are same 120 degrees. This kind of system will be called as a three phase balanced system so in a simple way the magnitude of the voltages are same and the phase difference between the each phase is equal then you you can say that system is a perfectly balanced system next what is meant by three phase symmetrical system Whenever the system is viewed from any phase is the same, then you can say that system is a symmetrical. What is meant by the system is same? The self impedance of all the three phases are equal and the mutual impedance if any, if it is having any mutual impedance, the mutual impedance between the three phases are also same. Example. Let us consider this circuit. If you see from any phase, whether it is from R phase or whether it is from Y phase or V phase, through any phase, if you look at, if you see the circuit, your all the self impedances should be equal. That is, ZR is equal to ZY equal to ZB. Not only this, if you have any mutual impedance between these two, if you have any impedance ZRB and among these two, if you have any mutual impedance ZRY and if you have any mutual impedance between these two, 
then those mutual impedances also should be equal. Then this kind of system you can say it is a three phase symmetrical system. Types of faults. Basically, there are two types of faults that we have. First one, shunt fault or short circuit fault. The another fault is series or open conductor fault or open circuit fault. Shunt faults are again classified into two types. Symmetrical fault and unsymmetrical faults. Symmetrical faults. These are nothing but three phase faults. So all the three phases will suffer from the short circuit. Then that kind of fault you can say it as a symmetrical fault. Unsymmetrical faults. These unsymmetrical faults are classified into three types single line to ground fault, line to line fault, and double line to ground fault. Single line to ground fault can simply called as a SLG or LG fault. Line to line fault can be called as a LL fault, and double line to ground fault generally call it as a double LG fault. How to distinguish between the shunt and the series faults? So we know basically the faults are represented as shunt and series. If any fault occurs, how to identify that whether it is a shunt fault or whether it is a series fault? Shunt faults. Shunt faults can be identified if there is any increment in the current. If there is any sudden increase in the current and sudden dip in the voltage, so how much current it will increase means current increases to a very high value and the voltage decreases to almost a zero value in the shunt fault condition. Coming to the series faults, it will be just reverse for the shunt faults. Whenever the series faults occur, series fault is nothing but a open circuit. Series fault is nothing but a open circuit. What will happen in the open circuit condition? The current will be zero and the voltage will be maximum. So with that concept you can say during the series fault condition the current decreases to almost zero and the voltage increases to a high value. So shunt falls also you can remember like that shunt is nothing but a parallel short circuit. In the short circuit condition current will be there but the voltage will not be there. That means voltage will be almost zero. We will see the classification or we will see the types of the faults, classification of the faults using the flow diagram. Let us see the classification of faults using the flow diagram which is very convenient and very easy to us to understand. The faults can be first classified into two basic types. One is the shunt faults and the series faults. The shunt faults again classified into symmetrical and unsymmetrical faults. Three phase faults come under symmetrical category. And the single line to ground fault, line to line and double line to ground faults will fall under unsymmetrical faults. Coming to the series faults, the open conductor faults are nothing but the series faults. It can be one conductor open, two conductor open or all the three conductors may be in open condition. Some more points we need to remember with respect to this faults concept. That is, which is the most frequently occurring fault? It is nothing but a shunt faults. In that also, especially you can say the single line to ground fault is the most frequently occurring fault in the system. What are the rare faults in the system? 
three phase symmetrical faults occur very rarely in the system along with this open conductor faults also will not occur that frequently most severe fault in the system absolutely the three phase symmetrical fault is the most severe fault in the so it will occur very rare but if it occurs in the system it will be a very severe fault fault analysis solving techniques how we should proceed to do the analysis of these different types of the faults symmetrical faults these can be solved on a single phase basis first we should know which kind of problems can be solved on a single phase basis we are working with a large interconnected system which is a three phase system so even though it is a three phase system if the system is a balanced and the symmetrical system instead of the three phases we can perform our analysis on a single phase basis and which can be applicable to all the three phases that is how we will simplify the analysis for the three phase by assuming our system as a balanced and the symmetrical system even though the system is suffering from the symmetrical fault the system will be intact with the balanced condition so without any problem you can continue the analysis or the solution technique on a single phase basis if it is a symmetrical fault what about the unsymmetrical faults whenever the unsymmetrical fault occurs it may be a single line to ground fault or line to line or double line to ground fault anything these faults leads the system into the unbalanced condition it will move the system into the unbalanced condition what is meant by an unbalanced condition we haven't discussed anything about the unbalanced condition but it is very clear that which will not satisfy the balanced condition definitely it will be in a unbalanced condition what is that mean the magnitude of the phases will not be equal and it will not maintain the same phase difference between each other in that condition how to do the analysis because we cannot perform this analysis on a single phase basis because my magnitudes are not same so what is the procedure to this we have to carry out the analysis on three phase basis only but performing or the conducting or finding the solution by considering the three phases will be a great task it's a very complex the system will become too complex and we cannot proceed for the solution on three phase basis so what is the solution for this what i have to do so we have one solution these unsymmetrical faults can be analyzed by using some special components called symmetrical components these can be solved conveniently by using some special components called symmetrical components what we are going to do here is the unbalanced phases can be represented by using these symmetrical components and we can perform the analysis bit conveniently as compared to the three phase phases so in the next class i will explain you how to represent the unbalanced phases by using these symmetrical components i hope up to this is clear thank you